Well, guys, uh, welcome. Thanks for coming in to play DD with us today. And for those of you watching, thank you so much for showing up and watching episode five of Seeking Snail. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, don't worry about it. I'm about to tell you everything that you need to know because every episode is a brand new start of your adventure. Now, these players, you must know them as some of the finest heroes in this entire world, excellent our peers, and they control everything about their characters. But then, what do I do? I'm the DM. Thank you for the sub, Ingle Maroy. Thanks for the tier one. My job is to control the world. From the rocks, to the trees, to their friends and their foes, to everything that they'll see and everything that they'll know. But I'm no one scary. I'm not trying to get anyone pushed into a deep mushroom pit of death or anything. No, I'm just a humble storyteller. And what a story do we have prepared for you today? Our party has ventured deep and deep into these nice, dark caverns under the ground. They've been trying to trace a snail that they know has been led away by some of the Mykonids, some of the mushroom people, to help them regain some immunity to the sun so that they may go back to the surface and communicate with the outside world. But along the way, they were ambushed by terrifying shape-shifting beasts, crystalline horrors made of rock and fiber. But they were able to get away. They made a friend with what seemed to be a intelligent commander of these golems. But alas, as they were trying to make friends, they unfortunately got the creature killed. With the outside turning more and more hostile, they finally found a way to bring their friend, Shrug, a mutated mushroom that they brought back to safety of his former village who refused to, res to, res who refused to accept him. But now, they sit on the eve of war. They need to find a way to gather fighting forces to push off the threat underground. How will they do this, I wonder? Well, that's not my call to make. Y'all ready to roll some dice? Yes, sir. Yippee! Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. Go. go ahead and unpause the game. So, you guys are now in this grand glowing cavern. It's all kinds of colors, blue, yellow, red, purple. It's surrounded by a lot of nice mushroom people and their leader, Grub Grub, impressed by Tortimus' wisdom and your guys' bravery having helped him in the past before. He's given you free birth over here. You can rest, you can trade, you can eat and drink while you are here. It's like Olive Garden, your family. But in, or in, order to, in order to welcome you, he has proposed. Let us set aside the, the stress of worrying about what to do with Shrug, this mutated mushroom you've brought back in. Let us do away with the stress about worrying about the war that we must fight tomorrow for survival. For tonight, what if we have a festival? Grub Whoa. Rub is... <laughs> this no, maybe a new track. This may be Wait, the first I have time a question. Got yeah, what's going on, Harana? I don't think you've ever introduced this room as a mushroom pit of death before. So now I'm kind of wondering, like, huh? did you <gasps> leak information about where the fuck we are? Uh... Uh... Give me a... Intelligence check, please? <laughs> Oh, do you actually want to roll it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm... I was low-key mean, but um, with the fourteen, I, I mean, your character is uh, um, uh, your character is is definitely wise and charismatic and fairly smart. At fourteen, is definitely just shy of exceptional. Um, uh, um, yeah, this place is the nice, friendly mushroom circle, but uh, you do notice that there is a um. There is a very, uh, if there was like a OSHA compliance type of thing from mm -hmm. mushroom people, uh, mm -hmm. this central chamber would not, would not meet it at all. Uh, okay. just looking down, you can see it's a pretty long fall 
Uh, the mushrooms look soft, but some parts of them look a little bit hard. You may take a little bit of damage, but there seems to be almost like a fog, right? But you're in a you're in a cave system. There should be no fog settling down here. It seems to be filled with kind of fungal matter, some kind of spores. May, you may not want to fall down there. Uh, it, it may be uh, it may be pretty scary. But up here, it seems like it's pretty safe. There's a lot of mushrooms. There's a this okay. a gigantic snail. I think it's going to be pretty okay. Great ear. Uh, now we're just going to make that part of the campaign. <laughs> hey, how far awesome. down was that first mushroom right there? Oh, that first mushroom? I don't even like think about it. Here? Yeah. Yeah. That's about, no. I would say, like 10 feet. I'm going to try to jump to it. Oh. How are you going to get back? I'll figure that out later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, are you gonna try to like land on it no, and I'm uh? With, I'm, I'm with you. You're not. You're not ready for that shit. <laughs> I mean, you you know that I let you guys get away with anything. Uh, I'm not no, gonna, hold I'm on. Not gonna, I'm not gonna stop you. You can't for go this, back no. on it. You said you were gonna do it. I was just fucking with them. Though. Coward. Coward. <laughs> Mick Howard. Uh, it's they don't have a whole fucking other map for that. I'm just I'm just fucking with them, man. You don't know that. You don't know that. Yeah. How do you not know that? Hmm. You don't know that. Let's, and let's dude, McConnell, you're like half health. Go for it, dude. Let's you just, got this. Listen, let's, we're, we're, let's rest up. We're in the festival. Let's do the festival. <clears throat> if we can, sorry, if if we can see it, it can't be that or deep, right? McConnell. <laughs> Could you repeat that one more time, I said, is, is McConnell talking or McConnell? The Ooh. paladin. Just curious. I burn. Yeah, what's up? Focus up. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Are you locked Rump in or not? Grub Grub is walking toward us. Yes, uh, Grub Grub, the grand uh, sovereign of this area, has toddled back to you, releasing puffs of spores happily as he continues to walk up to your uh, up to your party, and uh, begins in, in his characteristic deep rumbling voice begins to address you, friends. Today, we must welcome you. We are but people of mushrooms. We do not eat or drink in the same way that you do. But we have some refreshments. We have some entertainment. I have heard that you outsiders like all sorts of merry games and merry drinks and food. We have done our best to create them for you. Come, follow me. I will show you to the festivities. He says as he continues to puff and puff, almost excited like a child as he continues to walk slowly to the snail. Dirt I have another wakes question. Up. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say dirt heard food. So he wakes up. And he... <laughs> I think Tortimus is still faded from the shrooms. I'm just going to be cock, clock, <laughs> sorry, clocked out. Uh, <laughs> just right over here. I think I'm just going to be snoozing. Uh, did this did this count as a rest for spells? Ah, you know what? Let's go ahead and say you guys fully rested up. We'll give it a we'll give it a little bit of time because we're just gonna like dog shit around a little bit here for a festival. And the truth is that if you want to take another long rest after the festival, I'm just gonna tell you this in the interest of speeding up the game. I'm gonna let you do it. So go ahead and take a long rest if you if you guys would like. You guys have all your resources and remember, you guys are at level 5.5. Each of you have had uh, a new ability added. I think Van may have briefed you on that a little bit earlier uh, when checking in, uh, but. Uh, you don't have to disclose that. You can use that in the festival. You can even surprise your party uh, later in the middle of combat. You guys are expert RPers and expert at setting the pace for a story. So I'll leave that to you. But always feel free to ask questions if you would like to use it. And it'll be a surprise for your viewers and your party members alike. Oh, all right, look at so all this food. There's a big ball of it. Dirt, the, no. Uh, what? Why? That food is being eaten is right now. Is he eating poop again? Hey, sir, can I have some of your food? You're getting too close. You're going to get hurt. The snail begins to withdraw, but the snail begins to let out its little eye stalks. It does seem to recognize you. Oh, Dirt waves. <sighs> He's just waving and smiling. The, the venerable truffle dragon, or this giant snail, Look, glances around, it recognizes McConnell, but shrinks away because it didn't have a particularly good experience. But you, you dirt, 
You are a barbarian. You've tried to speak with animals before. Truffle Dragon seems a little bit comfortable and nudges the gigantic ball of dried dung closer to you. Dirk's gonna like throw his hands in the air and get like a big stupid shitty, literally a shitty eating grin on his face. He's like, yeah! And he's gonna sink his face into the poop pile. <laughs> All right. RJ, look, he's doing it again. Grub Grub lets out a bellowing laugh. Oh, you are m such great friends with the venerable Truffle Dragon. Oh, mighty fairy warrior barbarian, I think. Oh, you will have no trouble with one of our games. We have prepared three games for you fine heroes before we go to war. The first game of many is... Wait, what? Yes. You skipped over that. You're going to war. It's war time, baby. It's war we will be going to war. Oh, powerful magic gun shooter. Pretty liberal with that we word. We, we, we must all fight for a survival. We're being attacked by a hideous large creature that has been herding us into this small cave, preventing our escape. There are golems outside that threaten to kill us when we try to explore. And also there are mutated horrors. And there are also goblins. Out there, we are fighting for the same resources. We are all trying to survive. We must reach out. We must form an offensive. And we must resist together so that you may return to the surface safe. For that is what your friend has said, who is now lying down. I... I hope he is okay. I All may right, have given well, if him we're going to war, you're up front, McConnell. Yeah, you know what? I will be up front, because that's what I should be doing, because I'm not a coward. Yeah, all right. Enjoy your crayons, buddy. <laughs> <clears throat> what are Perfect. those? No, nope. oh, that's Ooh. just what they feed the grunts. <laughs> okay, I have another oh. question. Yeah, what's going on, Keck? Um... What's happening to Shrug right now? Like we just, we just, he's in a pile of mushrooms and he's going to die. Like what? Oh yeah. Shrug seems to have been having some acute injuries and it's been kind of leaking some kind of green fluid. He seems to be stable because you guys did help him and didn't just abandon him and leave him for dead. The, some of the other mushrooms are a little bit worried about Shrug and are staying there. Not because they're worried for Shrug's health, but that something bad might happen and Shrug may try to hurt the mushroom circle. So they're keeping an eye on him, but it seems like he's just lying down. He's just taking in some of the nutrients from the soil, and he's just trying to stabilize some type of uh, some kind of medical condition he seems to have suffered for whatever type of experimentation has been done with him. It is a okay. It's yeah. a very sad disease. So he's he's getting at least some kind of treatment. And we're not just like oh party and I. You know. <laughs> He's, uh, he does seems to be he does seem to be stabilizing and uh, it doesn't seem like he's gonna get any better. I think you guys are very okay. adventurous. You guys would know this. It seems like Shrug may have some uh, information and maybe some side quests for you. But of course, you can it, choose you when you would like to engage him. You said something really interesting last time. Uh, oh, what did I say? Crump and Brox asked us what what happened to him and why he looks so different. Oh. Like what happened to his eyes? He used to look like us. Yes, I that was dude, really interesting. You, dude, you, you guys are. Uh... Yeah, yeah you guys are. Shrug's like mutated or something like that. There's something wrong with them. Yeah. yeah. You guys have good ears and good memories. Holy crap! Nice. Yes, it's. Uh, it seems like there's. Uh, they are worried, and uh, I, you guys also would probably remember that uh, the mushrooms seem to be on edge. They seem like they're, they're. They've been constantly fending off attacks, which is why Grub Grub, who is. And, like, my kids are fairly peaceful, seem to be so focused on going to war and finding a way to defend the circle because they're his family. And you too are like his family now. He doesn't want any of you to die. Aww, that's really sweet. That is. Perfect. It's beautiful. Uh, any other right. questions, actually? No. Oh. No, perfect. I'm All good right. for now. I'm sure. Uh, for, but, <laughs> of course, so feel free to always jut in with them because, like, that's a way for you to also use me as a source of information because if I notice that your characters may or may not know something, I'll ask for a check and we'll just kind of improvise. Uh, just like okay. a mushroom pit of death. Uh, so uh, we'll um, 
Uh, so, so we will see that. Uh, perfect. Uh, so Grub Grub begins to announce that there are three challenges, and he also promises some sort of reward for anyone that's able to win. It seems like he, he wants to throw, uh, get you guys some skin in the game. The first game that he talks about is the game of shifting snails. Okay, it's the game of shifting snails. Two contestants will stand on other sides of the mighty truffle dragon with a little bit of dunk that they will have as a treat. They must convince the mighty truffle dragon to come to them to eat not to the other person. It's kind of like tug of war, except you're talking to a giant snail. That is one game. Another game is the venerable game of Shroom Stomp. No, you will not be jumping and killing his, uh, uh, his, uh, his not fellow like Mighty Circle members. This, is, this isn't Mario. We're not gonna be, we're not gonna be stomping on those shrooms or those Goombas, but rather it is a challenge of athletics and accuracy as you leap from mushroom to mushroom around the pit. The further you can get, the better it will ever be, but no mushroom person or no spore servant has ever been able to reach the last, the last room. So it is, a, it is a little bit of an obstacle course. And the final one is the drinking game. That is all it is called because that is all Grub Grub knows what people do as adventurers. The drinking game involves consuming fluids that are slightly toxic, but also intoxicating. Will you be able to down three mugs, he wonders? Well, that's not his call to make. But if you guys are able to put up a good show, perhaps he has some rewards for you, as well as some icebreakers. Maybe you'll get to know some of these people better and maybe even get some intel of the way of the caves. So, are there any games that catches your guys' fancy? Uh, the tug of war. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to do the world to poop. Oh. That's a tough word. I mean, basically. My team's poop is the best. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, McConnell, do you want to face off against dirt? Or, or yeah, do you guys yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. In that case, uh, this, uh, this little right. mushroom guy will notice that you guys are getting ready for a honest a thing wills and we'll take a step back so we're gonna go ahead and let mcconnell engage in a war of wits so here's what's gonna happen we're gonna have both of you get to other sides of the truffle dragon oh wait oh, oh i really need to use the bathroom can i use the bathroom of of course says grub hub that is a great service to the truffle dragon okay dirt sneaks away over by tortimus and begins casting speak with animals while he pees. <laughs> Wash your All hands. Right. All right. This is gonna we'll be I'm, a gonna, long I'm one, still guys. sleeping. I'm having a good time. Those All those right. shrooms are just hitting me. Yeah, what is uh <laughs> I'm in the way right now? Totally is gonna wake up and he's gonna watch us just like fighting over shit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be great. Perfect. We seeing a uh, Craig. Uh, are, uh, what are you? What are you doing? You're 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 right there. Out. I was hanging out hanging. here first. Do I gotta move? Oh, I don't think so. This good. Okay. I needed this. Perfect. How's it I'm going, trying. Craig? I'm pretty good. I'm chilling. Look how powerful my stream is. <laughs> I'm perfect. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it was very well hydrated. Perfect. Scene. From all the glowing water you've been drinking in the last couple sessions, it seems like you're very, very well hydrated. Uh, but perfect. So Dirt's gonna like buy 10 minutes in order to get speed with animals ready to go. McConnell, you have about 10 minutes while uh, he's getting ready. Is there anything you'd like to do to prepare? I'm just gonna shit my hand and give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> to who? The game hasn't like even right started now? yet, McConnell. <laughs> Truffle Dragon. Look at all what? Right. So you're gonna shit in your own hands. Yeah. Are you gonna okay, perfect. drop trow to do that? Or are you just gonna dig in the back and have a load weight? <laughs> like, how do you know if, like, right. I've, when was the last time you How do we know poop? it's your shit? It'll be mine. It's like, you'll know? <laughs> you'll know. 
<laughs> I'm behind a mushroom right now, and I have a big wad of poo. Perfect. <clears throat> Grub Grub himself begins to stand kind of in the middle, and is going to keep an eye for any foul play or any types of coaxing of the dragon, but it seems like um, you may learn something when you come back. So we'll say that you take about 10 minutes uh, to get a nice uh, take care of nature's calling, uh, psych yourself up. You're a very charismatic paladin. Charisma may be very useful in the fight ahead. So you guys, ne so now you'll have your poop, nice fresh poop, and Dirt will have speak with animals. It seems like both of you will have unique advantages while we get this tug of war underway. So we'll say you guys are ready to go. So here's how the game's gonna work. There's many different uh, like skill checks and all that stuff out there, right? But I'm gonna help mediate this gameplay, just like how we do PvP and griefing, where I'm gonna kind of stand there just kind of be an arbiter. You're gonna have to make three checks, but these are ultimately gonna be checks of your own decisions. Like you guys are gonna be driving this. You guys need to form some kind of strategy and some, oops, sorry, uh, a little bit of a burp, uh, but you guys are gonna have to find some way to get to like do something to encourage the truffle dragon to come to you based off that i'll ask for a check and then we make the rolls and it's going to be uh each you're going to do three each and whoever wins uh it's it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be good and if you guys tie we're going to sudden death so i think that's going to be pretty uh pretty solid what do you guys say you think those rules are fair yeah, yeah. That's fair. all right we're gonna go ahead so we're going to do a little bit of a coin toss. So I'm going to do a slap, or we're going to have Grub Grub actually do it. We're going to have Grub Grub do a coin flip. It's going to be a one or a two. So, one of you guys want to call for it? Two. All right. McConnell calls a two. Damn it. It is a two. McConnell will be allowed to go first. Uh, Grub Grub flips a giant stone with his massive, massive strength. It lands on the ground with a thud, almost like a gun going off for a race. And now, uh, the game of Shifting Snails has begun. McConnell, what would you like to do to try to get the Truffle Dragon to come to your side? I slowly walk out. I extend my hand. In my hand is a <laughs> it's a huge pile of shit. Whoa! I'm talking massive. Whoa. That's huge. That's Where huge. did you get that? It's mine. Whoa! I extend it towards the truffle dragon. All right. Uh, grub grub bellows. What wisdom our warrior shows. He must have realized that as mushroom people, we cannot poop. We must gather poop for the truffle dragon. This one produces the freshest of treats. What brilliance. Could you go ahead and give me an animal handling check with advantage, please, McConnell? All right, that's one. And roll one Rock. more. Fuck. <laughs> oh no! A seven and an eight with no modifier. You can see that the truffle dragon starts to turn to you. It begins reaching towards you before suddenly it, it just feels like, oh, this is a warrior that I may have clashed with in the past. It's a little bit scared and does not move forward. Now, Dirt, you've witnessed McConnell try this. Is there anything that you would like to do in response? In response, or like taking my turn? Oh, you're taking your turn, but you also Excellent. have his information. Perfect. So, Dirt is going to be in awe. Whoa! Look at the size of that! He's just looking at McConnell's giant shit that he took in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Dirt in salivates. Awe. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. He's in awe. He's, huh? whoa! All right, what happened that developed this whole poop? Uh, you know what? I'm st I'm still asleep. I I, I don't. Uh, don't I'm gonna even have a start. rude awakening. I just, I just they want <laughs> they want to have poop stuff whatever. <laughs> so dirt 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 steals himself. You know he's he's he he realized he's got to get his head in the game. All 
right. Huh. I'm gonna have to pull out all the stops. And uh first I I this is this is for you, Riku. Uh yeah. I still have this poop in my inventory, right? It's still there. Yes, okay. you do. I see if it's it. in your I'm inventory, just... you have it. Okay, can I perform an insight check on this poop or like a some kind of check to see kind of what it's made out of? Like is, you know, cause you know, for instance, certain animals will often, you know, eat like berries and things like that. And, and then there's a lot of leftover in that. So I'm just curious what it, what is, <laughs> what's in it? Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. Go ahead and just give me a free nature check, please. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be a little bit uh it seems to be a little bit uh a little bit sweet because this poop comes mm. from above ground in fact uh, for those of you watching there is a prequel trilogy which will be airing on youtube very very shortly uh, that will illustrate where this poop came from but i'll give you the cliff notes this poop was made as an offering for the truffle dragon to bring the truffle ba dragon back with them underground it seems to be fragrant it seems to be a little bit sweet but <laughs> while you can't quite understand why it would be uh, uh so appealing to the truffle dragon i think with a nine you would realize that this would confer you an advantage because it may even be nostalgic from you know simpler times for the snail <laughs> this guy called it sunwalker <laughs> 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 but but you do have uh some um a, <laughs> you do have some knowledge of uh, what would you like to do uh with the with the poop in your inventory okay well I'll, so my original idea was to to see if maybe this poop was made out of seeds or something mm -hmm. like that because then i might be able to uh use druidcraft to make a seed pod open or something like that make it you know give it like a garnish i give this poop a garnish uh but since that's that i don't think that's gonna work i don't i don't think there's many seeds in there so instead i'm i'm still going to use druidcraft um would, would i be allowed to make uh a sound with druidcraft like with a small little sound be okay yeah it's a, i think a sensory f uh, effect can definitely be sound i i think that's perfectly fine all right so dirt is going to he's gonna he's gonna get real serious for a moment he's gonna furrow his brow he's gonna look at the truffle dragon he's gonna kind of bring his right arm down into his into where like his his bag is or wherever he keeps his, his shit and he's gonna kind of like turn his body slightly away while still keeping eye eye contact S snoot contact what what are those things the, the eye stock contacts He's still keeping eye stock contacts with the truffle dragon, but he's kind of got his body turned away. He's doing it kind of like out of the sight of the truffle dragon. And then as he pulls out of his bag and he produces the poop offering, I would like for the uh, the Legend of Zelda song when he opens a treasure chest to play. And then I'm just going to hold it out like right above my head in, in both my hands as like a as like an offering and he's gonna kind of fall to his knees as he does it all right go ahead and give me an animal handling check with advantage please yeah no yeah okay, that's the first one oh, no. <laughs> uh it's yes, always dude. it's always troms with the long <laughs> rp explanation yeah. into a terrible role <laughs> <laughs> it's so unfortunate uh, every three, time then Every <laughs> monologue you get punished. Yeah. A three and a four. Uh, so we'll take the fourth advantage. Uh, the truffle dragon starts to like getting with like a. It gets like more and more like interested at the sound, before st suddenly realizing this poop is creating music. It frightens the truffle dragon as it begins to no. withdraw back into its shell. Yes. Seems like you're. Yeah. Seems like it has backfired. McConnell, you witnessed all of this. What is your next move? All right. As the poop is in my hands, okay, and I notice it's not enticing enough, I'm gonna try to draw it in, draw its attention, with light. And I'm gonna 
I'm gonna cast a, uh, like a yellowish glowy light out of the palm of my hand so that it, it illuminates the poop and makes it look like special poop that the snail would be interested in. Interesting. All right. I think that would also fall into animal handling, but I don't want you to make the same check twice. So tell you what, could you give me a nature check, please? I much, I wish it was animal handling. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> you start oh to think to yourself uh, with that six down to a five. Okay, I'm going to create a light. I wonder what kind of color I should use because this is a snail. Maybe there's something I can do. You start thinking of various colors and you decide on yellow because, I don't know, maybe yellow is a color that you prefer as a paladin. Maybe it reminds you of the color of the sun, but it was your decision. But you start to realize that the yellow light begins to frighten the truffle dragon. It is a creature that normally lived underground, but the sudden waving light, it may have thought it was a predator of some sort, it does not seem to go anywhere towards you. Perhaps you chose just the wrong color. All right, Dirt, you witness this light, you see that the truffle dragon's not down. Oh. What would you like to do? He's knocked out? <laughs> Oh no, no, he's not knocked out. He's just, uh, he's just, uh, he's okay. just, uh, he just okay. failed his, uh, he just failed his check. You're, okay. you're good. Well, I could see he didn't really have much interest or wasn't too pleased with my offering. So Dirt, Dirt feels like he needs to make it a little more favorable. So he's going to look confused for a second. Then all of a sudden it's going to hit him like a light bulb. Ah! And he throws the poop into the air above his head and grabbing his scythe. He does like a cool like fruit ninja kind of thing and he chomps it into like i don't know like six pieces or something like that he's like 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 three swift strikes that chomp it into six equal parts and then he's gonna catch all six parts on the on the blade of his scythe each one landing landing on the on the blade of his scythe and he's gonna reach into his pack with his other hand and he's gonna grab a python. Is that how you say it? I got a, a python, a python, a metal spike. I have a metal spike and I'm going to use one of them like a toothpick. And I'm just going to kind of pop it in, pick it, pick up like a little ball of poop on the poop on the toothpick. And I'm going to hold it up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to eat this one myself. So Dirt, Dirt's going to eat the oh. first one. <laughs> and then he's going to offer the second one to him. All right. Could you give me a performance check, please? Absolutely. Yeah. That is a 13 down to a 12. At first, with the uh, with a flurry of your scythe, it seemed to frighten uh, the 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 truffle dragon. It seems to be just uh, a little bit worried that it may uh, that it may have a uh, it may be in danger. But when it sees you with so much pizzazz and charisma. Eat one nugget of it. Uh, it seems to trust you a little bit. It starts to shift closer to you. You have one success because you beat a ten. But remember, it won't be easy uh, to pull it back with your uh, with your third and final check. But McConnell, this is your third and final move. What would you like to do? I'll change the color to a disgusting brown. <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to do with that light? Uh... I feel like our DM wants you to eat shit, dude. <laughs> what? Uh, no. not... Yeah, that's kind of what it seems like here. Yeah. It's like the only... like. <laughs> it's the only thing that seems to be working? I'm sure McConnell <laughs> can figure out something else that would uh, entice the, uh, the Truffle Dragon uh, to come back. He's, I get he's... in front of the Truffle Dragon and I take a piece of poop. Okay. Get the clips ready, guys. And he's then... Gonna There's, he's not going to do it. There's no way. And then... As I extend my hand with the big pile, is this is the snail even looking at me? Is it at least <laughs> looking at me? It has one eye stalk looking at you, yes. I'll just take a little nibble of the poop. <laughs> 
Uh, so that's my new sub alert. Dude, I am that's so cool. glad Tortimus is asleep for this. I, I don't know what he would think of just yeah. seeing party members just eating poop. Dude, I'm going to use that for a sub alert, too. <laughs> sub alert is way too good. All right. So... You're eating it, but like, what kind of? Uh, no, I did you... not say eating it. I did not. You're say nibbling eating at it. it. Nibbling. I said you... nibble. And then, are you then... trying to be performative uh, to try to get to come to you? Uh, I want to like... be like, mm, mm, so good, poop so good. Mm. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like trying to get a baby to eat like applesauce yeah, or something. Yeah. I would say go ahead and give me a persuasion check, please. Oh my god, dude. A two up to an eight is not enough. Wow. I ate shit for that. <laughs> yeah. Worth it. See, I told you. I was like, I was like, I'm not playing favorites here. It's not like you have to eat shit. To, there's many ways to possibly get the uh, stain on your side. Seems like what worked for Dirt did not work for you, unfortunately. As Dirt goes to his final turn, you're one ahead. You can go ahead and try to make friends with the Truffle Dragon, or you can call for victory here. What would you like to do, Dirt? Well, <clears throat> I don't think Dirt fully understood the game to begin with. It was just something mm -hmm. like feed the, the dragon poop. So with the, the five remaining blobs that he has, uh, he's going to kind of throw them outwards one at a time, making like a line that like leads them closer, you know, like a ooh piece of candy kind of line and uh try to try to lure the truffle dragon towards them hey c come on i plenty more where that came from well not really that's actually the last of it but come on you're gonna have them all if you want all right you can choose actually you already made uh i tell you what uh, give me a persuasion check as well okay yeah a 16 up, but down to a 15 will be enough to get the Truffle Dragon to come right to you. And it gratefully takes the rest of the poop, wrapping it up into the gigantic ball in front of it. As you are the victor, Dirt has one victory point. Grubbub lets out a thunderous uh, roar as a, a plume of what seems to be uh, spores just erupts out from every side, kind of like a like a little train in Looney Tunes cartoon, or like a, a geyser. He seems to be very pleased as many of the other mushrooms respond with cheers, as you have been able to successfully make peace with their grand truffle dragon. Well Yay! done! I won! Well done! Dirt's gonna do like a... He's gonna do like a cartwheel towards the truffle dragon, and then uh, jump up on top of it. All right, could you give me an animal handling check, please, with advantage? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Bro, animal mm. handling is brutal. It's tough. It's, tough <laughs> it's, one. it's, a, it's a tough one. So, with a two, uh, you have a two and a seven. A seven's gonna be. It seemed like this uh, this truffle dragon was getting to be uh, your. Uh, it was getting to be your friend, but. It suddenly, some of its prey instincts start to kick in. All right, I'm gonna drop it right here. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll damage. Oh, God. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, um, go ahead and give me the wiz, the didn't clock her wisdom save. Uh, Craig! <laughs> don't worry, uh, Craig's not gone yet. Uh, Craig, could you go ahead and give me a DC 15 wisdom saving throw, please? If you click on your character and click on the card in chat, that's one way to roll it, or roll it from your character sheet. And click on the what? Uh, oh, when you look at Magic Blast the... in the chat, it'll say DC 15 wisdom save, you just click it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, oh no. God! What's uh, right? going on with the rolls, dude? Yeah, it's um in. No. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, could you also give me a save two trumps? And you use your character sheet as well. Yeah. A sixteen will save. 
So, uh, you're going to take half damage from the sudden blast of energy that erupts from underneath you as you try to mount uh, this giant snail. Uh, Craig is left with only one <laughs> HP. Oh. That hurt. Yeah, it seems like McConnell and Fortimus were right, uh, right past it, uh, but it's going to go ahead and <laughs> you're <walk. telling> I... <laughs> uh, Wait, the I Trouble Dragon is dangerous. almost dead. I took 150%. Yeah, I took 150%. So I took and then they're half just watching damage. a group wipe happen in front of them. <laughs> yeah, <It's>, uh, <laughs> we're, yeah just we're just sitting just there like, okay. <laughs> observing. They're eating the shit and this? dancing around in the time. <laughs> Dur I'm just sitting, sitting there, like, staring on. disapprovingly yeah. and, like, constantly nudging RJ, like, yeah, that's what you shouldn't be doing. I was just hanging yeah. out. Next, picking up their robes so it doesn't get poop on it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Grub Grub is a little bit concerned, uh, looks at the victor, uh, looks at the friend, uh, as uh, some other of the, uh, uh, some of the other, uh, Mushroom folks start to skirt around. They're, they're keeping the they're keeping a little bit for uh, like further away from the truffle dragon. It gets spooked very easily. Uh, one of them goes and tries uh, to calm down the creature, while another one rushes down uh, to go pr potentially provide some aid and just check in on Craig. So we're gonna have uh, the two shrooms help you out a little bit. Oh, help me. oh, Grand Warrior, are you okay? Oh, you talking to me? I'm talking to you. You 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 look a little bit dazed. Are you okay? I feel like shit, man. Oh, I don't know no. what the hell happened, but I'm hurting. Oh, unfortunately, you were just too close to the Truffle Dragon while it released its mighty defensive measures. But do not worry. You will be, you, you will be okay. We will bring you uh, some medicine, some drinks. Give me but it now. Do you, do, you, do you feel good enough to... Well, if you want something to drink, why not, why not take place and... Why not participate in our grand drinking game? Yeah, all right, let's do that right now. Does anyone else want to participate? Let's do it right now, come yeah, on. Yeah, I could use, I could use something. Yeah, I'll have a drink. I'm this thirsty. Shit. Wait, hold on, hold on, pause. Is it made out of poop? No, it is brewed with fungal spores. Yeah, all right, various... all right, all right. Y'all got any lemonade? Lemons? What are lemons? Lemonade, not lemons, lemonade. What is lemonade? Man! What? I don't know, man. This is like, it's good. What do you mean you don't know? You asked for it. It's good. It's just a drink that I drink. It's good, man. Okay? We I, don't will try. I don't know what's in it. We will try to get you this, this, uh, this lemonade. But we Ooh, will, man. uh, we will, uh, we, we, Grub Grub, what say you? Grub takes a step back and says, well, so we have... We have Rodney, and we have Craig that will sign up for the next game, and McConnell's also down to chug as well. Yep. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, Dirt, 100% would chug. If, All right. <laughs> if he can be out, out of his days, he got yeah, thrown but, off, and he's kind of like, Ooh. Yep, you're perfectly fine. We can go ahead and have you chug. Uh, are those it for the contestants for this mighty challenge? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, we have Kex, yes. which means yes. the last okay. there is a there is a nice sleeping turtle. I don't know, turtle. Do does the turtle uh, want to participate in a drinking game? Oh, Unless like I'm. Oh, okay. I was waiting. Wake up! Oh, that is. A... <laughs> Are you up. whacking me with your club? Wake up! Yep. Oh, it's and do I roll for damage? I think yep, so. Go. That hits my AC, doesn't it? That hits your AC. Wake oh, up! Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thumping sound. Why? You can hear uh, 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 both these mushrooms are like, What are you doing? Waking oh, no. him up. You're waking him up. What do you want him to do next? Grab a brush and put a little makeup? You fiend, why would you do this to your friend? Wake up. I don't, I don't want to be part of this anymore. <laughs> so, Tortimus, I guess you're probably awake. How are Morning. you feeling? I'm, I'm still feeling the effects of these shrooms, huh? Yes. Oof. Well, I'm certainly seeing something. A little bit of pain, but also a lot of colors. Your face is pretty. I'm going to walk over to Craig and start squeezing his his, his face cheeks, I should okay. say. <laughs> Not interested. You missed it. Everyone was eating poop. I wasn't eating poop. Eating what now? Poop. Easy. Right. And... 
I'm definitely not under the effects of things, so... No. I, I find it hard to believe that such brave adventures, noble and and a, a stout, would, would consume poop. Oh, don't say I, I did. I, don't I didn't do that. It. You guys are pulling my leg. No, I didn't have any of the fikis. I didn't have none of that. It's very noble poop. Well, there's only one way to find out. Who ate the poop? I did. I ate a lot of it. All right, dirt. Breathe onto poop. my nostrils right now, and I will verify whether or not you have pooped or ate the poop. Dirt breathes in as deep as you possibly can. He like he almost puts his arms up in the air. He's breathing in so deep. He's like, <sighs> You're like, uh, an do, I, it's do I have to do a roll or anything? To <laughs> no, it smells like shit. Okay. It does. Okay. <laughs> Can I take? I, like I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna force RP myself to take one point of necrotic damage from that. <laughs> Go ahead. I uh, just um, you can take one necrotic damage or psychic damage, your choice, for just the uh, mental uh, agony of realizing that he did indeed. Uh, that that smells like uh, that smells that smells oh. like shit. You certainly ate the poo poo. Oh well, yeah, I did. It was delicious. You want some? No. Oh no, okay. I don't. I actually was enjoying my nap until I was brutally awoken by something. I don't quite. I think it was uh. Was it you, Craig? What? I wasn't even there that day, man. Uh, all what? right. Never mind. I must be crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we doing exactly? Where's my Where's my car? Chugging. We are about to do the grand drinking game that you adventurers do above ground, where we will bring you three beverages of increasing strength. You will chug oh. them. If you lose, you will simply be in intoxicated for a short while. But if you triumph, you will also be intoxicated for a short time. And we will give you a reward. What say you? Do you want to do this drinking game? I heard it is very popular above in the surface. Does it have the slime of the snail in this drink? No, but do you want some of the slime of the snail in your drink? Yes, if you add it to it, I, I, I will drink as much as you throw my way. All Bring right. It. We can add in some of the slime, and we will get the contestants ready to go. <clears throat> all right, so we'll have all contestants. Could you line up by the edge of the pit, please? Oh, no. Yeah, hey, Connell, don't push me, all right? I know you like pushing me. <laughs> Am I winning? <laughs> uh, Tornus looks at McConnell and is very stoned. <laughs> and he's going to put his hands on McConnell and be like, You know what? I, I'm, 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 I'm oh, very fun. sorry about, you know, calling you sir. not like a paladin or anything. I, I actually think you, you might be pretty good. Pretty good paladin you I'm are. I'm not a paladin. Oh, sorry. Craig, I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking to the person that I'm currently physically, uh, you know, entangled with. with well, I was listening. Oh, okay. Well, this, this you is know, my Craig, favorite you'd part probably of make life. a good paladin, too. Anyways. No. Uh, Let's what? get one thing straight, Tortimus. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck Ooh. me! Fuck Ooh, you! Fuck you! I'm gonna push McConnell! That's right! Into Bro. the death! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I'm doing it! You're gonna lose a party member, do you understand? Well, oh. hey, you pushed right. me into one too many puddles, and I tried to be nice, and then you just said I'm fuck me. You, I'm telling you, Randy, you're gonna lose a party member. So He's are high you on sure drugs! Dude. Are, are you going OC right now? Uh, yeah, I am. You know what? I'm gonna push him. Alright. Yes, sir. Dude, I'm gonna get a group in your ground. on a fucking festival. <laughs> it's like no combat and we're just gonna roll the dice, I guess. But we always keep PvP between the players. Tortimus, could you give me a athletics check, please? And McConnell, you can contest with either. However, I or do athletic. want to send something to Riku real quick. Yes, yes, yes. What's up? Acrobatics or what? 
acrobatics or athletics. <clears throat> He's sending Riku money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm telling him to rig my roll. No. Nice dude, RPing in DM. <laughs> this sounds like no pixel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say that's my job. All right, but uh, Burn is um, Burn is sending right, me sorry. a little bit of message. I I don't know if that made sense. But... Yep, I um I, I see exactly what you're doing. Perfect. All right, go ahead and make your athletics check. Good thing my athletics is plus two. All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You were able uh, to successfully repel Dang. a I'll tortoise. I'll never know what I was going to do. Unlucky. I'd like to reverse it, actually. As he goes to push me, I grab his arm. <laughs> no! Oh! Yeah. Suplex him in, so you both die. Oh my god! I want to reverse the throw, like in wrestling. You know how they, you know oh. how they do that when they go right. off the ropes? Yeah. The you Irish whip. To... Okay. All yeah. right. Uh, this is fun. Oh, Lord, I'm glad you joined the D and D group. I, this has been great. No, uh, well, okay. What what are we what are we rolling here? So McConnell, this? go ahead and make an athletics check, and Tortimus, you can contest with. Uh, contest with what? Bye, bitch. Contest you can contest with what? Contest it. We can with contest what? it with athletics or acrobatics. Oh no. Oh. You, fuck you! I, I, and my, I'm guessing my shoves are doing like literally nothing to him because I'm just going. Ah. <laughs> and so uh, you Wait. do a nice. Uh, you can see McConnell. You're swinging him right into the pit, uh, while Grub Grub is like, "Oh fuck!" Uh, at the very uh, end, <laughs> like in slow mo, everyone's like, "Oh no!" Wait a second. Hold. There, you can see Tortimus is falling in. What do you guys? Are, Dirt, you trying to do something? Yeah, hold on. I I know Burn just did it, and I thought that was really cool, so now I'm going to do it. I'm going to send you a DM. <laughs> yeah, Heather, you can always send stuff directly to me for uh, private messages. I got gotcha. you. This is what my character looks like. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, did you send something? <laughs> yeah. All right, one second. I got to send no. this. That's, is that cool? That's freaking cool. Where are the Discord? All right. All right. I was lied to. No, you are. All right. I don't Tell me what you're going to do, Trumps. Since the attack happened within five... Me is it meters? Five feet. Five feet five, yeah. for me. Dirt is going to use Sentinel. And he's going to try He's going to try to stop this. He's going to try to hold his scythe out and uh, see if, if Tortimus can grab it. Is it an attack, though? I mean, really, it's not. <laughs> oh, 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 but, but, okay. Since no damage was being caused, it's not an attack. Shove is. Oh, damage will be caused. Yeah. Uh, shove, shove is actually considered one of your attacks. It oh actually triggers with your multi attack. Nice. Dude. Fine, 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 fine. Go, go ahead. It does. You know what? Right, uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Continue, continue. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go ahead and let you. You just respond with lightning fast reflexes. You shake off that those that psychic static that came from in during the blast from the snail. And as your mind clears, you just uh, quickly get right to the uh, edge of uh, the thing, and you head out your uh, your thing. Go ahead and use your sentinel ability, your reaction one. It's back on your sheet. Yeah, but it's that's the old one. That that, that is the I old got one. The yes. New one. I got the new yeah, one that, now. Yeah, but it's, uh, it, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, you, you want to upgrade in the middle of this, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, just go ahead and roll it. Yeah. Wait, I need a target. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh Jesus. Uh. Yeah. Target. Um. Oh, you just target anyone. Target, target McConnell. Actually, does it need a target? No, it doesn't need a target at all. Actually, it uh, made me choose a target. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. It, it doesn't actually matter for this one. It's just text. All right. So this Sentinel ability uh, was initially done uh, to uh, to allow you to protect uh, your allies. And the cool part about it is that also it helps, uh, it prevents them from being able to run away if you hit. So it's a very powerful ability, but you may learn something from this experience that's going to upgrade one of your other core class abilities, which will sprinkle in through a little bit of RP. So uh, you're using your sentinel uh, to try to um, 
So, so how about we do it this way, right? You don't need to make damage, but can go ahead and make a melee attack with your sight against McConnell, please. Okay. That's easy. Die, scumbag. Ah! Ah! A 14 is enough to hit. So he's not going to be, uh, he's not going to be taking out. So actually, actually, yep, even with that plus one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to do anything. But you are able uh, to at least try to get a reaction, but you're not able to stop McConnell from doing anything more. But you're able to get, get while you slash at him, you can use the base of your set to extend the final helping hand to uh, Tortimus before he falls. Uh, Tortimus, could you give me a dexterity saving throw, please? <laughs> a five Jesus, down to a four. Uh, that will not be enough to save uh, by, by a pretty far margin. As <laughs> you, your very fast sorcerer hands reach out and just grasp air as the shroom effects start to distort your ability to understand the distance. And you continue to fall. Uh, but Craig, uh, you said you were trying to do something? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Huh? I said I was trying to do something? Yeah, I think yeah you, you said, said that you... I'll save him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was... Saying, I'll save. <laughs> I was like this. I was doing this with my character. I was. I pushed him out to there. Just like, held him over where Tortimus was. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. But you're not trying to do anything right now? You're just going to watch the shit show unfold? Mm. Oh, dude. You guys already see the coolest fucking thing of all time? Yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, wait. Let Show us, Walnut. Let me see if I can do it. Whoa! Hold on. <laughs> How much weight can I carry? Can I pick up Tortimus, technically? Uh, I don't <laughs> think so. Tortimus is very, very Are heavy. Are you sure? Hold on. <laughs> I much, am. How much damage wait will you take if he picks up Tortimus? <laughs> Check your DM. There's a lot of yeah, DMs going on That's here. fucking I cool, right? Everyone's got a DM Dreku at least once. Okay, <laughs> hey, I started it. I started it. I'm cool. Yeah, you are, it's you're a... really freaking. Yup, cool. yeah. <laughs> you can do it. It's very clever. Craig jumps in after Tortimus. All right. I got you, uh, buddy. So you can see Tortimus just like falling uh, into uh, into the depths, and now uh, Craig, you leap in. You can start now. You're kind of in that fog. Tortimus is falling faster than you because, you know, he has a little bit of a head start, but you leap in. You just need to make contact. Can you give me an acrobatics check, please? Yes, sir. Here comes a, a nat 20. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the, the plus seven's pretty good, right? The plus seven's amazing, but it does not beat 10. <laughs> does it, do I have advantage? Unfortunately not, but oh, but what is up with but, our rolls today, huh? It, <laughs> you guys are rolling pretty fucking cold. I don't know what's going on. Uh, at least I'm not rolling crits against you guys. That's a uh, that's good. We're not. We don't have the uh, uh, the We're not in combat yet. guys again. But uh, Wait. you guys, uh, Craig and Tornimus, uh, you are reaching out. It's like the end of Castle in the Sky uh, when they're falling from the castle. It, but you're just barely able to touch it. It's but you just miss by just a narrow end. But both of you at least. Are heading toward that first mushroom. I guess the only person that has not been able uh, to do anything uh, is Keck. Keck, is there anything that you want to do? As you can see, Craig and Tortimus are just out on the pit, heading toward that first mushroom. Uh, any anything you'd like to do? Uh, <laughs> Craig is going. <laughs> I can't wait to t say what I. Nothing. nothing. I. Uh... What if I just fear both of them and then just kind of like move on with the rest of my life? What's your what's your just, problem? <laughs> like I don't know. The, I there's nothing for me to do. I'm I'm just staring. There's I'm watching it unfold. That's very very keck like I say. Does all right? You just go watch. Does Tortimus have a spell strong enough to launch him back into the air? <laughs> Tortimus is gonna have to figure that out. Uh, well, well, but, I mean, mm -hmm. oh, hold on, check your DMs. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. 
I just and while you, you do that, um, Rodney, are you thinking of anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to sit there and take out my tools. And I'm just going to build a crude little sign. And it's just going to have a magical enchantment on it that displays the words, watch your step. And I'm going to put it right <laughs> where he went over the edge and just leave it there. <laughs> See, RJ, that's how you protect people. Wait, sorry, could you repeat that one more time? <laughs> oh, I just built a little sign that says, watch your step. And I'm going to put it up right where he went <laughs> off the edge. With my magical it's, um, tinkering. It's a little bit of a, make sure the OSHA code, it's going to be, um... Yeah, let's go, um... Give me a quick second. Oh, no. Yeah, you can hear the top. Can you guys hear the tapping through the mic? Oh, mm, no, no, no. Not really. So. All right. So, you can see, so you can see there's now a sign being built. Uh, as uh, Grubhub uh, glances toward them as Craig and Tortimus uh, fall and hit the mushroom and instantly you can see uh, they start to look a little bit confused. Both of them are brooming. Uh, Grub Grub turns uh, to uh, to you guys and be like, is this is this a game you play on the surface? No, they were fucking with me so I had to fuck them back. I mean, it's not a game, but yeah, people murder each other by throwing each other off of tall things a lot. You know, it's just how it goes. All right. It's a uh, Grub Grub is going to uh, look back at Twig. He's like, Twig, we must go get the ropes. I feel we may have to, uh, we may have to pull back our friends from the whispers of the deep. All right. Whoa. Now, we're going to go ahead and swap maps a little bit. Now, oh. Craig and Tortimus, you can feel that you hit a thud, but the mushroom is soft and releases a nice cloud of spores. And due to your natural acrobatics, I don't think you guys will really take damage at this uh, as high with something so soft, but you're luckily able to grab on before you fall deeper and deeper into the cavernous pit because you made it to that first mushroom. But as you start to breathe, something is wrong. The air is thick. It even seems to be a little bit low in oxygen, but it also starts to be whispering. You can see that the white fog starts to turn colors of rainbows, teals, purples, some sparkling lights. You can hear voices in your ears until your vision turns green. I'm gonna go take you to another map. So, we're gonna have you guys here as observers, but uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna move you guys back over here. But only Craig and Tortimus will see what is here. So I'll move you guys over there. Get you guys right to the back. So this just gives you a little bit of a of a of a, a vision. But Craig and Tortimus, both of you start to see green fields and trees in front of you, and you can see what seems to be a little bit of an altar. Tortimus, you have no idea what you're seeing, but Craig, this feels familiar. While the lights wavering and the grass waves, the trees growing smaller and shorter, as you start to cough, and as you start to go a little bit numb, you're feeling pretty good. This is the place where you met the mushroom people for the first time. And you can see the mists and the lights start to coalesce and you can see two mushroom people praying and venerating or it seems to be a little pile of dung a little pile of dung that troms had for that contest a little bit earlier you're currently on this map for a little bit you're now in a battle with your mind the grid may be wavering in front of you but perhaps if you explore this map Maybe the shrooms are trying to tell something. I'll let you go ahead and take it away. It's just for you. Hey, I think I've been here before, Torgmer. You ever, you know, like, when you've been somewhere and you see it again, and it's like, what's going on? You know? Um, I mean, all I remember was falling and... Yep. And I didn't but think I was going to get up, but... We're on the surface. We made it. 
We made it out. We're In good. order to go up, one must go down? Yeah, we went down on each other and now we're out of here. I don't know if I want to go <laughs> down on you ever again. I mean, I don't even know where we we're are. We're safe but... now. Are we? Wait, do yeah, we actually we see out. these tokens or no? I, I, just, I don't know. Yeah, your fellow players are not there. Uh, but these uh, two mushroom people are. Okay, cool. It's just you and me, Burn. <laughs> but I, I, who are oh, they? Oh, those guys? Hey, said, they're pretty chill. What's up, Bang? Wait, no, Sir, Craig, Craig, me. you said you've been here you before. You guys remember me? Oh. To begin no, to speak in, those, in that similar deep rumbling voice that you hear, their names are Brox and Crump. These hey. are two Mycanids you've met before during the, uh, when you first met the Truffle Dragon. They start to talk, but you notice that, like, Crump starts to flicker. Goes from green to red, back to green, it's very festive. And then Brox suddenly seems to just, to just vanish into a wisp of smoke. See ya, bro. This gradually disappears. Crump? beckons to you and begins walking into the forest oh yeah we'll come with you man you seem like you know the way come <clears> with <throat> the come on toward him come on <laughs> all right i'm coming yep. eventually yep start we going walking from? through the trees there. as you look up the trees begin to blow with a cold breeze followed by a warm room it's almost like this land is breathing it's alive the winds rustle the leaves, but they feel like they're chiming against each other, almost like green glass from bottles. You come to this... You come to this river. And Crump walks into the tree and just vanishes into smoke. See ya! On the other side of the river, you can start to see some familiar goblin faces. Some ogre faces begin to show up. They seem to be welcoming you. They seem to recognize you as one of their own. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, so Tortimus, long time ago, long time ago, you know, we met some of these guys over here and I started talking to them, you know. They're, they're supposed to be goblins. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't think they're real. I think they're fake goblins. I think they're guys pretending to be goblins, which is really? not cool. That's frowned upon. You're not supposed to do that. So these fake goblins over here trying to be like me, a real goblin, and they said they need to stop. Stop moving over there, you weirdo. It immediately freezes, like right over here, just almost like a statue. I hate you. Stays, you got something to say? Stays perfectly still. Oh, you're asking if it has something to say. Yeah, it has. <laughs> yeah. It turns to you. It says, I am Shimsham. I am here. Come. Come. Cross the river. Come to us. I ain't doing that. Uh, are, are you sure we should... Come to them? No, we killed them last time. Hey, Shim Shum, you remember me killing your ass? Yes. 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 Yeah, you still want Yes. To okay, you said burst burst into a pile of smoke. Yep, <laughs> did it again. Got him oh, again. God, what are in these troops? I, I still got it, player. You can see there's a familiar face. The chieftain comes back to you yep. and looks at you. Craig! Yeah. Craig! What's popping? It's me. It's Ragdrag. Oh shit, Ragdrag. You're a fake Rag goblin Drag. too. I know you. It's gonna be Ragdrag and Craig, right? It was, but then I found out you're a fake goblin. Am I a fake goblin? Yep. Or are you? Oh. Uh -oh. I'm Craig. Uh, Craig. Yeah, what's Come up? to this side, Craig. Show me that you are a real goblin. Okay. 
I got something to prove. Uh, What's Craig, up, players? It could be a trap. What's uh, up? What's up, punk? Come here. Yeah, all right. No. You You remember Punk Tong? You yep. remember Gurkle? Yep, I remember that shit, bitch. All right, who are you attacking? <laughs> I'm hitting Reg Drag. All right, go ahead and roll your damage. Do I do I sneak attack this? Or no? Yes, you do have sneak attack. All right, take this, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One <laughs> HP in a dream, I guess. <laughs> as long as you don't die in the dream, you don't die in real life, right? Up, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't say anything. Uh, but as you whack a uh, Rag Drag, he he just takes the hit and stumbles a bit. Before reaching back out to you, remember that shit. Like, we trusted you. You're one of us, Craig. You're one of us. Hey. No, I ain't. Craig. Y'all are fake. What's you, up, you Tor? Said you, you said you beat them up or killed them. Why? Why are you over there? Yeah, they you. You know what? Yeah, I'm you're using, a very... I'm, using the, I'm using this little thing I found last time I saw these motherfuckers. Sunblade. You draw a, a blade of light, and the uh, and go ahead, go ahead and make your that, that does hit. Go ahead and make your attack. Yeah, fuck oh my you, God. Bro. Fuck you, you a poser. <laughs> oh my God. Craig, what? what are you doing? You, ha you're. Is he? Is, is uh, Mike? He's heavily injured. So, <laughs> like, one HP. is there? Yes, is, one it, HP. is it all like concussive or is it noticeable? Like, is he bleeding at all? <laughs> Oh no, like, he's not bleeding. It was all psychic damage. His mind okay, it's was all rattled very deeply. Yeah. But Tortimus, you're on the other side of the river and you're just watching this happen. My uh, hurts. Ragdrag falls to the ground and crumples, but still looks up at Craig and just begins smiling. Craig. Yeah, what's up? You're one of us. No, I'm not, man. You're we are fake all, goblins. we are all fake goblins. <laughs> What the we hell? are all fake goblins. I'm not a fake man. We are all fake goblins. I'm not a fake. Yeah. Oh, he disappears you. into smoke as the two large creatures around you begin to circle, trampling upon their own camp, destroying the wooden barrels Craig. around you, walking through the tents Craig. as they dance around you. Fake goblin. What's up, fake Jerkin? goblin? Fake goblin. Fake goblin. No, I'm not. I'm not. You're a fake goblin. I'm not a fake goblin. You're a fake goblin. Fake goblin. Fake no, I'm not. goblin. I'm hey, real. Man. What? Well, what do you want? Prove tortoise? it to them, Craig. Prove it to them. Prove yeah, that you're right. real. Do something that only a goblin can do. What? Yeah, okay. Uh. All right, I got this. Here we go. I got it. I, I try to bite Grukel. All right. It does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Yes. 14 sneak attack. So as uh. you reach out, you, you try to reach deep inside of you. And you're just thinking like, I'm, I got to prove I'm a goblin. And you reach out with an unexpected bite. This is a new ability uh, that was... um. That was a uh, that was given to you as part of level five point five, and it seems like you have learned this ability down here in the depths of this fungal dream. You channel your inner gremlin, your rapscallion like actions, and you sink your teeth into Gurgle as he begins to laugh. Fake goblin, fake goblin, it, fake goblin, and all you can see on top of Gurgle, there's four smaller goblins that are all there with bows and arrows. They, this is like a walking fort. Gurkle is basically a, a walking fortress. You can see them laughing and jeering. Fake goblin, fake goblin. Show us more, show us more, fake goblin. As they continue to cry out. Uh, but it seems like the illusions are starting to waver. It seems like goblin-like actions are helping break the dream. Uh, uh, Craig, I think, I, think, I think you're doing something that for once, is useful. Uh, yeah, besides I'm doing goblin the horn. shit, man. I'm doing goblin shit with my friends, all right? Fuck you, man. You're talking Wait, shit to I, me. I thought they weren't Fuck your you, friends. little guy. <laughs> I spit on him. <laughs> oh my God. You, 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 uh, you hack up a nice big loogie and do a slash spit. Yeah, go ahead and roll your damage. Is that also it's sneak not attack? not banned in this thing? world. That, that is also sneak attack, yeah. All right. What? You see one of the goblins that's like dancing on top of Gurkle as he points at you. 
fake goblin, fake goblin! Ah! like spit goes just directly into his fucking eyes. He's blinded, takes sneak attack damage, and just like evaporates as he laughs. Fake goblin, hey, fake damn, goblin. Bitch boy. Real goblin as he dies. And he disappears right. into a puff of smoke. You know Good job, Craig. I think it's working. Whatever you're still you're here. Uh, I like to watch. Okay, you weirdo. And as you're doing this, you start to feel some of your magic is beginning to drain. It's beginning to leave you. This wizardly activities that you did, all your education seems to be going away. They seem to be your magic, your wizardry, your intelligence starts to leave you. You can feel yourself getting dumber. <laughs> yeah. You are, oh my God. You, yeah. are, you are no longer able to cast like Ray of Frost. A cantrip has left you forever. Right. But you've become slightly more goblin-like as they continue to dance around you. Fake goblin, real goblin, fake goblin, real goblin, fake goblin, real oh, goblin, real, real goblin, C Craig. real goblin, real goblin, real goblin, That's right. real goblin. Is there anything that else that you would like to say to them? Yeah, we got one more move. We got one more move to do. Hey, Pong Tong. You remember me, Craig, the realest goblin you ever done seen? Real goblin percussive therapy for Craig as Punk starts to lift what seems to be a, uh, uh -oh. a flail, a bugger. Uh-uh, you son of a bitch. Hey, yeah. hey, left head, eat the right head now. <laughs> yeah, go, yep, go ahead and do it. <laughs> no! An 11 is above a 10, and in this area, it does succeed. You're in a dream, after all. You, you use your charm as a goblin swashbuckler to try to get them to do something. And you can see the heads begin to turn to each other as the others begin to vanish. Pong Tong's... Pong, well, one of the heads, begins to chew at Tong as... The next feel that they're growing almost like stalks of a mushroom. The fingers begin to elongate, starts to turn to a pale. It seems like this creature is decomposing in front of you as the heads begin to eat each other. Check this out, oh. Tor doing goblin shit. I, I don't even. He's eating them. He's eating himself, technically. This one guy, this one body, Tor. Yes, and that makes him a goblin if he eats himself? What? No, he, so, ain't a, he ain't a goblin. I'm a goblin. See sure. that Pong Tong is slowly eating herself. It's like some uh cool. some weird set of myths. And then finally is left with only one HP before the image starts to waver. And you start to see something familiar. Tortimus. Hey, uh, where, where, where'd all the fake... Oh. What? Uh, there's... Craig, there's... What's up? There's something behind you, Craig. Oh, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. You guys are in horror. You turn, yes, you, <laughs> you turn to him. It's staring directly at you with its uh, long arm, its great bodies. This is the uh, this is the creature that they've been talking about. The creature that's been hunting them. It's a creature that took something from you. It reaches out its hands, and you can start to feel it flickering with a green fire. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. It, its hand starts to seem like it morphs into this green fire. It feels almost goblin-like. It swipes at you. But 14 is not enough to beat your AC. 
It erupts with a burst of green magical flame as it hits the ground, arcing around you, destroying some of the barrels to the side. It begins to look at you and gets closer and closer as his hands are reaching out to you, threatening to grab you. What would you like to do, Craig? Hmm. Now, what would Craig, WWCD, what would Craig do? But also, it's dumber Craig now. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, crazy. I don't know how much dumber you could get, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I don't know, man. I feel, what I'm thinking is that I should just fucking run, right? I should probably mm -hmm. actually icy step out of here or something. Do you, can you even icy step, or have you lost that? Like you lost Ray of I Frost. Still, I still have that. You still have it. But I what know. is Craig feeling like? What does Craig want to do? Craig, I think, would just bash him. Like he would, you would just go for like he would. Uh, uh, I'm doing. Here we go. Uh, perception check. Where's the genitals? We're with a going. fourteen. And with a lot of awareness, looking forward to this for generals, you notice that this thing is a, this thing is neuter. It has. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die. We're dead. We're dead. Craig, Give up. I Give go, up, Craig. That is the thing I saw in my visions. It's. It, it is. <laughs> It is the thing that we're trying to amass an army for. Craig, you what? need to run. That's what this thing is. I thought this was. What the hell? It seems like it's about to embrace you in a Aww. hug. Craig. Will you run or will you stay? Will you stay or will you go? What, what, what does Craig feel like doing? Craig, Craig, you said you've been here before, right? And everyone you saw before, you remembered. But this see. one, this one you don't, right? 90 feet. That's how far I can go. I could, oh, I have no, I accidentally used my use of the icy step. It's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and bring it back. Oh, there, yeah, we, there go. we go. There we go. All right, now hold on. Yep. How far is 90 feet? Each one of these squares is like five feet, right? Each one of these squares is five feet, yes. Maybe you can just pour, you can pour it anywhere. All right, I think I'm gonna go like, hey, Tort, Tort, I'll see you on the other side, brother. Uh, are, are you, you are leaving, right? You're getting out of there? Again. It's slowly embracing I'll see you later. I don't know, just. It Don't didn't worry about it. Move me. Should I move it's, myself uh, now? It, yeah, the template's basically uh, you you drop it in for damage. But don't worry about it. Uh, as you pour it away, a Damn. huge explosion erupts around you. Uh, <laughs> I can see the template is going to be a little bit gnar, but don't worry about it. Uh, as it crackles um, around you, so you you see that as you teleport away, there's a, a burst of ice that just shatters and covers the beast as it uh, as it recoils. But it begins to let out a laugh. Now, toward him, you start to hear some weird psychic whispering from coming for this creature. Trust me. Trust me. Find me. Feed me. Trust me. Take care of my sister. As suddenly, toward him, the Lights begin to warp around you. Same thing for Craig. You can feel that the world around you is crumbling. The ground is shaking. You can see that some of the rocks begin to fall through as sinkholes open up all around you. And we are back to the mushroom maze. We're going to import you guys back. As Craig does that icy step, but it happens in the real world with one hand on Tortimus. In the middle of this little druggy revere, Craig is able to successfully use Icy Step Ooh. and port everyone back to safety. Yeah! Yeah, Craig! What's up, bitches? Oops, I'm oops, back! Oops, sorry, 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 wrong. That's the wrong music. That's the wrong music. I'm sorry. That's the wrong battle music. time, <laughs> motherfuckers! I'm oh, it's goblin. battle time, all right. Time to die, Rodney. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, so you guys see Craig bring Tortimus back with an icy step, but you have no idea what the hell just happened to these people. That, that was stuff that you were just allowed to see it because, uh, you know, like, you know, production stuff. But they're ported right behind you. Both of them start gasping for air as oxygen begins to fill their lungs. Their, their nails start to turn a little bit less blue. And they're both definitely seem to be a little bit, um, shaken. 
Uh, but I'll let you guys go ahead and take it away. I grab Tortimus and throw him off again. <laughs> Dur Dur's gonna step I don't between know that. what just happened. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Why are you grabbing me? What's going? What, what are you doing? I, I, I just saw something. Visions, visions. Rodney's Dur just gonna <laughs> sort of cough under his breath and point at the sign. <laughs> you can see a perfect. A oh, sorry, cat. Go ahead. Oh, the sign is just perfect. <laughs> yeah. A grub grub takes a step forward. Says, "Wait, you s you heard something? Yes. You heard the whispers of the deep. I, 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 if that's what you want to call it, I saw the thing that you know the the, the great. Thing. I'm assuming McConnell's still grabbing me while I'm talking about this. I just yeah, I think I'm grabbing you. Okay. And McConnell, uh, sorry, uh, Dirt and McConnell seem to be fighting over for you at this moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yes. Let go of me. Um... Uh, yeah, I saw, I, I, I saw the, 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 the creature, and Craig, you, you were there too, it was like a dream, but not really, it felt so what? real, there was a lot of goblins, apparently it was a familiar place, but it's said to protect a sister, a sister of some Oh sort. yeah, I'll explain it all, you guys remember like a year ago when I got that cool sword, and there was a poop eating that dirt did, and stuff like that, and we yeah. met some guys, and yeah. they were pretty chill. I th hey, what's up, Grub Grub? You were there sometime. I said, well, originally, and there was like your other friend, Bro or whatever, S Steven or something. Y'all remember that? Grub Grub nods. You yeah. saw visions of the past. I don't fucking know, man. It's the same place. It was, up, it was like on the surface, man. We were chilling. What did you see? You. You. You are acting a little bit differently. Nah, Have man. you gotten smarter? <laughs> yeah, I like to think so. You know? I don't... I, yeah. I got a couple tricks up my sleeve these days. I'm a little bit more sly, a little bit more coy, a little bit cooler, too. I don't know about that. I mean, in the dream, these goblins were surrounding him, saying... Yeah, uh, real goblin, fake goblin. I feel like it was some sort of uh, a test, maybe. Um, and what? he just kept bashing them. He bit them. I did all sorts of goblin-like things. It was yo, I did goblin shit with my friends. It was sick, man. It was you quite an astounding them. show. Yeah, I bit a guy. I made what? a guy eat his other head. That is true. That was very disturbing, but not as disturbing as the thing that almost tried to grab, uh, grab Craig. And if he didn't nicely step out, we would have, uh, he would have been gone. I, I don't think I would have been able to help him. Uh, you know how I Speaking do. of help, hello. There's a paladin that's grabbing me right now. Dirt is is in between them, trying to push either either one aside. Like he's got one hand on Tortimus, one hand on McConnell. Punches Dirt in the face. Dirt puffs up instantly. He is he, he just you just hear him instantly scream, "Stop!" And like the, the the loudest, deepest that you've ever heard Dirt get. And uh, with both of his hands pressed against you guys, he starts like flapping his wings. And he lifts himself up off the ground, um, mostly on you guys because for some reason he he can't seem to hover like he could before, um. And he, he kind of, he, you can, do you, do you know in Lord of the Rings when Gandalf uh, yells at Bilbo and he's like, I am no thief. You know, he's like, <laughs> yes. oh, is it that like, do not take me for a conjure of foul tricks. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he does, he's kind of having like that sort of moment with them. And he's like, oh, hell you yeah. two need to learn to get along. All right. This is technically in the realm of player versus player. McConnell, what would you like to do? for intimidation. I <laughs> no way! No fucking way! How? Oh, the minus How? one on your intimidation! Oh no! Oh, you, that was literally the make or break. The a 19 down to an 18, and McConnell rolls up from a 16 to a 19. Alright, McConnell, how do you respond? Yeah, I obviously don't listen to him, and I, uh... You know, I'm what kind of gauntlets do I have? 
the nice metal relatively ornate ones from the kingdom of Cyrosa. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's not a punch. It's a more of a backhand. Paladins don't really... I think Paladins are more likely to backhand than punch. <laughs> yeah, your oh. Paladin definitely went. All so I'll right. take my right hand and mm -hmm. just... just I'll bring it to my left side and I'll... Just like, just like that. Just like that. Ah! All right. Uh, but Grub Grub is also going to step in. It's like... Oh, God. We must, we must put a pause <laughs> to the festivities. I think, I think your friend, the, the wise Tortimus, has seen something. That's right. I am very wise, so you should listen to me and let go of me. All right. I'm sober now, I, 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 relatively speaking. I, I, the experience I encountered with Craig was very interesting. That was pretty cool. You still look wavy to me. <laughs> I look wavy to you? What does that even come on? Minus one. Mean? Minus come one. On. What do you mean wavy? No, no, come on. Minus one. <laughs> you go fine. I'm grabbing you with my poop hand. <laughs> uh, oh, God. No, this is... It smells mm. like the, 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 the breath of dirt. Oh. No, don't tell me you... A paladin. A purveyor of the light. Eating fecal matter. Okay. Uh, Are you sure? Are you sure you want to go down this road? I mean, I'm high right now, and I just think that's... I mean, uh, maybe my senses are dulled, but okay. there's no okay. way a paladin uh, would do such a desecrated right. thing. Punches it's so you sacrilegious. The backhands you too. Backhands you too. The poop hand? No, with the other. I'm holding on to him with my poop hand. Okay, got it, got it. And gripping tightly and just... All right. I mean, you can make an unarmed attack if you would like. A 19 is actually enough to hit. And it's... Yeah, uh, will... Is that damage? Yep. Right. You can definitely roll damage if you would like. Uh, but uh, the purpose... You were thinking of saying something. You were saying something, Burn. Uh, no, I, I, I was just taking damage. Oh, word, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The girl was like, stop, stop. Why are you fighting among yourselves? You I don't normal. know this paladin is sure as it's uh, the paladins that I know because I they're we way kinder. Soon, you you should have kept your fighting. mouth shut. Oh, kept my mouth shut? I, I experienced uh, an ethereal... Like, uh, adventure with Everybody Craig. Everybody here saw you try to push me off. Rodney, you were standing right next to me. But did you fall off? Who's the one that fell? Me. So who's really the one that pushed? You did. I didn't push you. No. You initiated. No, you initiated by saying, fuck you. All right? That's You've been rude initiation. to me. Yes, it was. Verbal initiation. You did it several times. And you made me reach my breaking point. And Those you still have words. yet to apologize. I'm yes, and words, words hurt. Oh, you want, a, you want an apology? Yes. Grabs you with the other hand and tosses you off the cliff. <laughs> All right. What about the sign? <laughs> he can't, yeah, the this paladin can't read. He can't read, so that sign won't stop me. Um, mm. Are you guys trying to do anything? Because Grub Grub definitely is going to, um, is definitely going to get involved. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just <laughs> full strength, all sixteen of my strength, going straight to gripping him and throwing him off. No, yeah. you wasted your roll on the, on the intimidation. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a quick second. All right. We're gonna all have right. uh, Grub Grub's like, please. Please stop. He's seen a vision of the deep. He should not go again so soon. Well, so give I me mean, a constitution uh, maybe. Constitution saving throw, please. What? Oh my God. What? Oh, fuck. He, what? What? An 18 up to 21 does succeed. As you can feel, there's a blast of spores uh, come at you, but you hold your breath. You don't get into your eyes. You're able to hold. 
Uh, is anyone else trying to do anything as McCall is about to try to throw Tortimus back into the pit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm back just, in the I'm, pit. Rodney's just looking back at RJ and making like that disapproving dad face and then like pointing to his two what? eyes and then pointing at the sign and then looking back at RJ and doing it over and over again. <laughs> Craig did what Craig did. Who did you All hit? Right. McCall. That is a critical. Oh, okay, I thought you were going to hit me cuz you're I stupid. <clears throat> Go ahead and roll your critical damage. Ah, Stop oh. it! Ooh. Stop Jeez. doing that shit, idiot. <laughs> now, the question is, would a hit deter me from throwing him off? That's up to Riku, right? I think um, you would still be... You're still probably in the motion, but I'm assuming, like, Tormus resistance, you're kind of, like, at the bottom of initiative, in quote, so to speak. Okay. So Grub Up took a turn. Craig took a turn. Uh, Dirt, is there anything that you're trying to do? Um, hey, Dom. What? What? At what point are we in the throw? Is he like very obviously yeah, going over at this point? Yep. Yeah. I would say like right now it's like that grapple right as McConnell's like trying to swing around. He just took a hit in the back from Craig as he was about to start getting that momentum. So I'd say it's like twenty five percent into the throw. But when Tortimus is on this side and about to go in, there's going to be a lot of inertia. So it depends on what you're trying to do. What are you thinking? Why'd you ask that question? Okay. Well, because I, I, uh, to set up for what's about to happen. <laughs> if he, if he goes over, uh, there's something I want her to do, but that's only if, if he starts going over. Ooh. Gotcha. All right. Hirona, anything from you? Rodney thinks just pointing at the sign being like, look at these idiots. Uh... I keep looking at my stuff. I don't really think I could do anything. <laughs> There's really, literally nothing. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can DM someone and I'll use my message ability to DM someone in Discord. <laughs> you totally do yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, that worked out um, well for me. Yeah, but... <laughs> everything is like, I can whisper something horrible before they fall, or fall to their death. Uh, I can give them Bane a... so they die before they die. <laughs> Uh, if they have a magic ability, I'll just I can dispel their magic. Uh, major image, I can make the ground even bigger when they hit it. <laughs> yeah, you I can have give a lot you of CC, bardic inspiration before you hit the ground. <laughs> you want some more? Oh, I great. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't know. I know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keck's gonna disengage action and just sit here. <laughs> All right, Keck just watches. All right, Dirt, <laughs> it seems like Tortimus, they're about to start. They're, um, uh, actually, let's go ahead and make that check first. So, McConnell, you need to make an athletics check. A Tortimus, you need to make an acrobatics check or an athletic check to contest, whichever is stronger. Oh, <sighs> man. Ooh. You're gonna... Let go of me! I'm no. not going back in the pit. Not again. Not again. Please. No, not the pit. Not the pit. No. <laughs> Am I flying? <laughs> Tortimus rolls a 13 up to a 15. Uh, while McConnell rolls a 13 up to a 19. The modifier made all the difference. The Tortimus is about to go over. Dirt, what did you yes. want to do? Okay, this is a, this is a bit of a reference, but uh, props to anybody who gets it. So, in the hit movie, The Chronicles of Riddick, there's a oh point in the God. movie where they're climbing up a cliff and they're like trying to do it before the sun rises or something like that. They got to get over the top of the cliff, otherwise they'll get like burnt to death by the sun. And somebody like slipped and they're falling behind. And Riddick does this cool thing that Dirt's about to try. He's gonna pull out his hempen rope 50 feet. And he's gonna throw it at least uh, uh, um, as best as he can around gr Grub Grub, and use him as like a, like a like a like a like an anchor. And then Dirt is gonna he's gonna run. He's gonna kind of like run up this way as quick as he can, and he's gonna jump off into the pit. Ah! And he's gonna start swinging. He swings down this way, and when he gets to right about here, he's gonna do his best to grab Tortimus and try to swing him back like up this way and up and over and back onto the ledge. 
All right, so as you throw the rope, Grub Grub, Grub, Grub seems to know exactly what you want to do. He uses some of his tendrils to grab onto it before starting to rotate. Almost like spooling in like an anchor wire. Uh, and into the pit you go as Tortimus starts to fall. You're very, very strong. So you're going to be able to like get to him, right? But I do think this is going to need a little bit of dexterity. Uh, can you give me an acrobatics check, please? Uh, I can do this. My entire life, I've been living for this Stop moment. Stop role playing. To make sure that my friends Stop. are safe. No. I have uh, channeled all my Tom's energy into this now. one safety net so that my friend, the rock turtle, can be saved. Yeah! I'm so fucking <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yo! Okay, it is it is scientifically proven at this point that the more Trom's RPs, the worse the roll is. There is just no saving this guy. He just hey, the game is playing against him. He could not role play. It's just <laughs> Oh is no. Role play, though? Oh no. You better seven. fuck him up. Tortimus, you can see uh that as um uh, with so much strength, dirt leaps off, but he's got too much angular momentum. He starts to twirl around as the rope begins to kind of wrap around him as well, as he just like slams right back into the rock and bounces <laughs> off a couple times. <laughs> I, I think was gonna, a, that sounded so epic too. With a yeah. natural one, oh. I think I'm going into the pit as well. I don't <laughs> think oh, I don't no. think I'm coming back up. <laughs> if you want to go into the pit, I'll send you I to the should, pit as well. I should. Is a natural one. It's a critical with fail. All the, uh, with all the shaking, uh, Grub Grub's <laughs> vines start to like let loose. Uh, some of that little like goopy, uh, like like mucus type thing that he emits are making things a little bit too slippery for the rope, and he can feel it give way. As Tortimus and Dirt are now yeah. falling back into the pit. Uh, anything else you guys want to do before we go have another hallucination? Bye bye. Oh man, bruh. Dude, Ke Kevin oh. and Rodney are having a side conversation about how we don't need them. They're gonna die, like the two of us, like between us, RJ, Edna, and maybe another mushroom person. We can make a new raid group, and we'll be fine. Well, it's just like, and then at some point during the conversation, like one of them will just bring up, like, wasn't there supposed to be a drinking game? And then we'll just kind of forget about it and move on again. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Was a festival? <laughs> this was supposed to be a festival. It's turning into a very different type of uh, uh, set of festivities. Because uh, also remember, like, these mushroom people don't know your guys' culture, so you guys are the ambassadors for, like, everyone in the nation above. Just FYI. Oh, great. Oh, right. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to bring... Uh, we're gonna bring you guys right back in. So, you can feel that you guys, like, hit something with a thud. Uh, but again, the mushrooms are very, very, very soft, but you've fallen in a little bit deeper this time. Dirt, you can start to feel that same choking feeling as you're starting to just inhale even thicker spores. It's disorienting. There's lights flashing. When you close your eyes, you can see railroads erupting behind you. It's almost like three-dimensional lights behind your eyes. And when you open them, you're back on a green field. Tortums wasn't joking. Yes, there. this was the surface, and Dirt, you remember this place. The poop that you had taken, that you just fed the truffle dragon, the giant snail, is right there. Glowing, oh. invitingly. What would Why you like to do? are you looking at it like that? It's the, it's the poop. Don't eat the poo poo, okay? Tortimus, we're, we're here. Yes, this is exactly where I was before with Craig, but yeah. now I'm here with you and not I was Craig. here too, and you weren't there, and, and Craig was there too. I was not there, but now but I'm here. This is it. This is the tasty poop. Uh, excuse me? Oh, is God. This, is this why your breath smells a certain way? Yeah, I was eating this stuff earlier. It's the, you gotta try some. Uh, no. Runs over and just starts grabbing handfuls of it. <laughs> oh, ow, ow. 
As he, oh, he just oh, goes, oh, he just turned oh, into a... Jordamus, oh, oh. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to do? Uh, uh, I'm going to... Can I do... I'm going to run over to him and use Shocking Grasp. <laughs> right. Go Just ahead. To, like, shock his hands so that he lets unhands the poop. All right. Go ahead and use a Shocking Grasp. I forgot that he's targeted. Yeah, go ahead and give him a little bit of shock. Give him a little bit of damage. <laughs> and he's just gonna like spit it all out like that, like the 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 cartoon character from that meme where he just spits all the food. As he... Oh, it's not all over me, is it? No, <laughs> it's aiming away. Okay. I think. It's like in this area over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. good. All right. What the hell? Do you not want any? No, and you shouldn't eat any more. I don't think it's good for you, and it ought, I mean, it's, it makes your breath stank, okay? Oh. Okay. Nobody wants to be friends with a poop breath. Poop Whoa, breath. what are we doing here? This is where okay. Craig got the sun blade. Yes, yes, let me show you. So we were walking, following, there was, there was mushroom people. Right Grabs a handful here. of poop on the way by. <laughs> Just stuffs it in the bag. What? Um... <clears throat> You were saying? Uh, yes. Uh, so we follow these Grabs mushroom another. people over here. Uh, are you? Oh, okay, oh. you are behind me. Uh, and we followed them through here, and uh, and, we, and then we saw over here a bunch of goblins that Craig said were his friends, but then he started beating up his friends. This is where he met the truffle dragon. He was like over here or something. And really? Yeah, this is the first time we ever saw him, and then McConnell came at him, and then Truffle Dragon didn't like it. Yes. Okay. Right as you go to the bridge, you can see the mists and the lights start to coalesce, and it does indeed form the image of the Truffle Dragon. Look, there he is! Just like I said he was! Whoa. Incredible. Uh, Dirt's just gonna start waving at the Truffle Dragon as as though they're like uh, uh, friends or something like that. Hey, hey, it's me, Dirt. Hey, he's gonna hold up some of the poop that he gathered. Look, I got some more of that poop. <laughs> What's wrong? With coming, me? it's coming slowly towards you, <laughs> and it seems to accept your gift. Uh, Dirt then, throws the poop up, kind of like a dog, like throwing a ball to a dog. <laughs> it is going to like roll its giant dung ball all over it. It's going to start. It's going to start, con, con, like consolidating it, and you can feel emotions of gratitude, of thanks. Behind you, you can hear that the leaves are starting to rustle, and again. They seem to chime like glass, like bells, like Christmas ornaments in the wind. Some of the trees begin to take form and walk right behind you. Whoa! All right. They got moving trees here. Uh, this, this wasn't here the first time. No, I don't remember these guys. They were trees, but they didn't look as buff and sexy uh, as these guys. Were they, were they friendly or...? The trees? I mean, yeah, they didn't do anything. They just did regular tree stuff. Okay, that's that's good to hear. I've never seen these guys before, though. The truffle dragon seems to just continue moving back to the other side, across the river. Hey, come back! You gotta tell us why we're here! The trees are just gonna walk right behind you guys. Or stay still. And Dirt, uh, where are you moving? I'm just moving towards the Truffle Dragon. Just uh, want to follow right. him wherever he's going. Okay. A Tortimus, is there anything that you would like to do? I'll just follow Dirt. So, All so right. you remember every everything that happened here, right? This is this. Is it very similar? Is there anything different? Oh uh, well, I mean, it feels like it was a year ago, but uh, honestly, I think it was only like last week or or maybe a couple days. Yeah, uh, I mean, there wasn't this green. It's kind of green here now. Like, 
Like a weird green mist. Interesting. Also, there were more goblins. Well, uh, Craig took care of them. Oh, this is where we met Grub Grub. Hey, back off. You're getting a little too close. The These guys trees. weren't here. The trees stay perfectly still the moment that you say that. Oh. Wait, can you just command them? I could try. Uh, put your hands in the air and wave them high. You know, you got to sing along. They attempt to do so. They begin to dance with their large branch-like hands in the air. Whoa! But then let up some very loud rumbling as they attempt to kind of sing in various odd pitches and microtonal frequencies that your ears may not be particularly good used to, but, well, they've got the spirit. Dirt tries to mimic the sound that they're making. <laughs> what the fuck? The, you can see that you mentioned that you'd met Grub Grub here. The lights in the mist began to coalesce and you can see Grub Grub on this side of the camp. He looks oh, at you. There's Grub Grub. Friend. Friend that helped us. Come. Come to this side. Okay. Come on, Tortimus, it's Grub Grub. We're saved. Oh. Wait, no, 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 dirt. D what? Dirt, you... What? <sighs> this is where we saw the thing. It was right here, and Craig John was right Carpenter? over there. I don't know who that is, but... <laughs> no, it was, it was a creature that looked like your... Uh, junior. He looked exactly like Junior. Wait, my son? Yes. Son? No, uh, dirt. Your son. Are you missing your family member? Well, no, he's fine. I think he's back in camp. Family. Isn't family. It? It's important. You will never meet your family again. Well, that's not true. Uh, I'm really strong, so I'll just get back to him. Craig? How? Well, I don't know. Just I'll figure it out. How a lot of people figure it out? A lot of people worry about the how, but it's not really about the how. Sometimes it's just about putting one foot in front of the other and getting to where you need to be. That was how? very profound. Uh oh, this they're starting to repeat phrases. Listen, Dirt, I, I, when I was here with Craig, they were like, uh, a real goblin, fake goblin. And, uh, I don't I don't know how this correlates to you, but I, I think each vision or each dream of the past has to correlate with maybe like a core identity to you or an issue with you, maybe. I, I, I think, Dirt. Think about what? I don't know, uh, your family? Uh, they said that you're not going to be with your family anymore. What do you think they mean by that? Dirt takes a step closer to Tornimus. And he gets right up next to him. And he puts a hand on his shoulder and he says, Listen, I might not be with my family right now, but they're still with me. And they always will be. They're what give me strength. And you know what? You're family now too. So whatever these guys want to do to us isn't going to hurt us at all. Because we have each other. <clears throat> the moment you say that, you can see the truffle dragon evaporates into a puff of smoke, leaving only these three creatures around you. You have strength. You have strength. You have no strength. You are weak. You cannot protect anything. Dirt takes his hand off of Tortimus. I may be small. And I I may I may not hit as hard as some of the others. But Dirt puffs up, all the veins in his body start popping. But that doesn't mean that I won't defend those that I love. Dirt starts powering up. But 
you, you hit hard. But you miss. You miss. You miss. <laughs> Man, the DM's taunting you. I'm lucky. <laughs> you miss. You always miss. The, the, the dirt, dirt is just, he's actually starting to get mad now. You talked about my family, and now you're making fun of how often I hit. You see, he's like bulging. You are the reason he came back as a grub grub puts one tendril on Tortimus. You missed. They seem to continue their taunts walking right around you. How does Dirt feel right now? He is, he is, he's starting to see these, he's getting very upset. He thinks these people may be, may be uh, trying to fuck with his family. And so as they're moving around him, he's going to take a swipe at Grubhub All with right. his scythe. Go ahead and make an attack. So <laughs> he's been sitting here the whole time. He's kind of just been like digging his, his feet into the ground. He's, he's uh, like uh, g grinding his teeth. You just see him, he's like, <laughs> like he's, he's, his obvious barbarian rage is starting to swell within him. And uh, to protect his family, he needs he knows he needs to do what's right. And so something breaks inside dirt and he uses for the first time ever reckless taunt. Oh, what does now, this do? Do I need to apply this effect? Apply um, no, we will. No, we will. We'll, we'll take care of it. OK, uh, reckless taunt. Very cool. I throw aside all concern for my defense to draw the enemy's attention. Uh, essentially, it allows me to have advantage on my first attack on my turn. NPL. Yeah, but this is for family, okay? This is what Vin Diesel would do. Um, but also, I have attack... Attack, uh, attack rolls against me have advantage, so it's kind of like... A double-edged like sword. Double-edged sword, but in this case, a double-edged scythe. Um, but... I think if this is this a, if this is a successful hit or if this is just anyone that I use it against will have disadvantage on attacks against allies. That's a great question. Just by using the ability, right? You get that reckless taunt effect. And what that's going to do, hit or miss, people are going to have advantage on you. But if some of your allies are nearby you, attacks against them are going to be at disadvantage, which means by sticking close to you in battle, as long as you're willing to take the brunt of the blows, your allies are safe. Excellent. All right, go ahead, make an attack at advantage. What's the key bind to do to shift, to hold shift? Uh, it's uh, E in order to uh, make your uh, stuff. I'm thinking it may actually be automatic, to be totally honest. Okay, I'm just going to do a regular attack then. Skia! There you go. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that a 10 okay. and a 14 up to a 21. That hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. How's this for a miss? As he swirls his scythe around and tries to cleave Grub Grub in half. You hit Grub Grub for 13. And the smoke begins to waver. Miss. Miss. You always miss. One of the other creatures, these like, these wooden golems kind of walking around, raises its fist and attempts to bop <clears throat> Tortimus. Oh. It's going to have to do so at disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was the first one. We're going to have it roll one more time. But wait. What about the sentinel? Can definitely do that. The 10 and the 15. We take the 15 because your disadvantage is there. So you kind of distract him as you're moving all around. Tortimus 
sees the fist of this tree smash into the ground and crumple into splinters. Ah! It takes no damage. Go ahead and make your sentinel attack, and it will have advantage because once you proc that reckless attack, it's active for the rest of your turn. Yes. Go ahead and make the sentinel attack. Uh, which one was it? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, go ahead and make your scythe attack now that you use sentinel. No, I mean, uh, which tree did that? Ah, uh, this is the this, uh, this little okay. uh, this one over here. Yeah. Take this, loser. Always A miss, nine. huh? Yeah. A nine, which would have missed, but then you take the 16, which is higher, for a 23. That does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, he swings his scythe around and he goes, You can tell I want to kill you because I've stopped role playing. Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Huge. See? <laughs> it's scientifically proven. It's. <laughs> The scythe swings into it, and again, the image starts to waver. The final one is going to make an attack against you. Do so at... A 26 does hit. Uh, oh, yep, there I see the KH. It is at advantage. A 7 up to a 19. This attack would have missed if you didn't use your ability, but a 19 up to 26 will hit. So go ahead and roll its damage. It deals six damage, but your raw, resilient strength and your smoldering rage cuts it down to three. It seems like your anger, your just anger to protect your allies has protected you by mitigating some of the damage. Only one creature remains standing. What would you like to do? Dirt is, is steaming with like a blue fire, uh, a fire from within his heart um uh okay he's got uh, so uh, uh dirt is going to then channel some of his inner fairy uh something he typically does not do very often because he did not grow up around fairies uh this is just something that he found it he was innately able to do He's raised by halflings, which is why he's a little bit larger than a typical fairy. Um, but Dirt knows a special ability called Fairy Fire. How, why is this not? Okay, placed yep. measured template. Yep. Perfect. Boom. Nice. We're gonna have all of them make a dex saving throw. Grub Grub rolls an 11, does not save, and is enveloped by your magical fairy light. Yes. You go ahead and have this one make a check as well. Sorry, saving throw as well. Also rolls an 11, does not save, and is enveloped in your light. And finally, the last one that remains undamaged is going to make a dexterity saving throw as well. An 18 does save. To uh to do this this fire, um Dirt's gonna have like a he's gonna have like a, a Saiyan moment, like where he's he's just been like powering up and then he like you know buffs his power even further and extends like a shockwave out, and the shockwave is gonna be the fairy fire. Perfect. Kind of, what like, color is it? Them. It's like uh it's 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 a blue, but it it has like weird like a weird darkness to it. Like almost like it's it's light made of shadow in a sense light made of shadow sounds really really cool almost kind of like your wings that like dark blue i love it mm -hmm. yeah it's, it ripples out from you like a shockwave illuminating these two behind you with the light as the smoke begins to disappear as the light just overrides them you successfully removed both of them leaving only the woe did this last one in combat It's glancing at you. It's looking at you quite curiously. And it, with its grumbling wooden voice. Strong hits. Strong heart. Strong hits. Strong heart. You did not miss. 
see that this creature, as the magic is kind of warping around it from your fairy fire, disappears into an amorphous blob of smoke before it begins to take another shape that you find very, very familiar. This creature attacked you once in the past, and it took one of your prized abilities. One that it begins to flaunt in front of you as it begins to sprout what seems to be fairy wings and gently hovers above the ground. Its hands begin to reach out to you. Uh, this is exactly what happened before Craig and I left. We have to disengage. I think it's the only way we get out of here alive. Is that, or, I, I don't know. I mean, you could prove to it that you're a warrior, but I think that was the first feat. Now I think it's run feat. Who's he reaching for? He's reaching for you, Dirt. With one of his hands. He's got a couple more left. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> you. Tortimus. You need to go. But, but what about you? You don't... Tortimus, go! And then Dirt's gonna leave. I won't leave you! I said go! Craig didn't leave me, so I won't be... Uh, are you shoving me? <laughs> I, I, I'm leaping into, like, I want to attack this thing. This is not... I feel like... When Dirt sees this, he, he thinks of his son, but he thinks that this is, like, a more terrible version a version that scares his son and makes him f frightened. Is there like a check I could do to like, like what kind of feeling is this thing putting off? Cause this is not a friendly looking creature, but for some reason dirt, like really loved his son. Like he really, he fell in love with that. The disgusting little creature that looked just like this. Yeah. Go ahead and give me an insight check, please. A 16 would beat a 15, which would be an extraordinary feat. Now, this creature seems to be reaching out at you. And you remember that all these people were trying to talk to those golems, and there was just a barrier of language that they couldn't quite cross. It was asked if the language, the ability to communicate, was what separated them apart and ultimately led to one of their deaths. This creature seems to be intelligent. It seems to have intention. It seems to have a reason for doing what it's doing at any time. While you wouldn't call it friendly, you have a feeling that it's not trying to hurt you. It does not seem to mean well for you, but it's trying to connect. Your scythe is at the ready. Tortimus, who is not a melee combatant, is right next to you, right by its side. What is Dirt gonna do? Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Hold on. Do I, I still have speak with animals active? Technically, you still do, yes. Can I try talking to this thing? You can always try. What would you like to do? Oh my god. I have to I have to ask it. I have to ask it what it is. What what are you? He's gonna stand there with his scythe like very ready. Like he's he's ready to lunge in on this thing at at, at any second. He says I am Journey's End. Oh, whoa. No. Don't worry, guys. If he talks like that, he's going to roll a one. <laughs> but yes. Oh, 
What do you want with us? Grow strong. Feed me. Feed me. We're not going to let you eat us. And I will set you free. Dirt grips his scythe even harder. I'm able to hear this, right? You are able to hear okay. it. For some reason, right or now, like a this psychic particular battle situation, between... you're able to hear this. It seems like the thoughts are leaking over, but you wouldn't be able to understand what Dirt is saying because Dirt's doing the speak to animals thing. But for some reason, this creature seems to be emitting some type of psychic wave in response. But... Dirt, it did send a response back to you. What would yeah. you like to do? If you want us to get stronger, then send us back. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Giga Chat. <laughs> Frick. Frick. This creature leans in closer to you. <laughs> It says, take care of my sister. Take care of my brother. Save us from mother. Dirt's eyes go wide as he kind of like almost staggers backwards. What? Mother, mother, you must save us from mother. And you see an image kind of pop into your head. Uh, uh, head. Uh, Dirt, are you all right? Uh, I'm, it's a woman. Uh, I, I didn't know a woman would make you feel that way, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can see this creature made of a molten glass and it's something that it feels odd it feels organic and inorganic at the same time but it almost seems to be made of the same material that this creature is as well as junior kill her and we'll be free. What's in it for us? Life. <laughs> As its uh, its claws begin to grow menacingly. It's gonna go ahead. Frick. It's gonna go try to make an intimidation check. But oh, you've shit. been feeling the vibes. You know what it's trying to do. You're the one that gets to choose the DC. Wait, that was a 20 down to a 17? That was a 20 down to a 17. Um, it seems to be trying to intimidate you, but how are you going to respond? Frick. What do you mean by I choose the DC? Like, uh, what I respond with? Do you feel like a 17 would be enough, along with all the creepy things it's been doing, would be enough to kind of scare you out of this place? Or do yeah. you think you have the courage to hold up against it? Uh, no, I think, I think, I think Dirt's a little bit shaken by what it just said. Um, uh, because now he doesn't, he doesn't know if this is friend or foe. So I think 17 is enough. Perfect. The ground is going to start a rumble underneath you. As you can see, the ocean to your side, or sorry, not the ocean, this lake, this river, sorry, I'm just messing with bodies of water, starts to run red, as if it's running with blood. The trees begin to grow red-orange, as if they're rapidly accelerating into fall, before the leaves begin to blow in the cold, wintry gusts as snowflakes begin to kiss your cheeks. As all the leaves fall and they start to go barren, the grass at your feet begins to wilt 
as if the land itself is dying. A shudder goes down your spine as this creature that calls itself Journey's End leans into you and says one more time, Grow strong. Feed me. Kill mother. Be free. And suddenly you feel that someone's just starting to slap you as if they're, they're just trying to hit you, as if they're trying to wake you up from a horrifying dream. Suddenly you see people have gotten to you. We're back at the Mushroom Kingdom as your dream begins to end. A couple of the mushrooms have climbed down and are trying to wake you guys up as others begin to pull you up with some ropes that they had fashioned earlier. Grover has repurposed the work that you already had. He's going to bring it back to you, but you can see that Shrug, your injured friend, and Brox, one of your other ones, is going to help pull Tortimus back up. And Grub Grub with his mighty strength, with uh, his other, other Mycanid friend holding him, is going to be able to bring you all the way back up. You guys are safe. There's a lot more oxygen here. But you're now reunited with your party. What would you like to do? They're still like kind of puffed up. Um, he's sweating. <laughs> Uh, you, I I had the weirdest dream. Your voice has changed. You look angry. Durs gonna look around and see that he's like back with friends. And he's gonna he's gonna start to calm down. He's gonna start he's gonna like go from a more heavier breath to like a more calm breath. But he's he's still kind of like down on his knees, like reeling from what just happened and like thinking about it uh, I had the craziest nightmare oh well when's the drinking contest what happened I fell asleep I think tell you what happened you sent me back down in the pit and I, I had to see another vision and see that terrible creature uh, and then, uh, then we're, we're free. And I didn't even. Wait, you saw it too? No, no, no more people in the pit, please. Grab's if you're going to grab one more party member and put them in the pit, you have to go in the pit. I'm, I'm grab, going to I'm shove grab. McConnell before he grabs Cat. I'm actually just gonna sprint straight to. Actually, I'm going to withdraw into my shell. I am sliding like a slip and slide to knock him off his feet and send him into the pit. Can't do that. Rodney, Rodney just goes. I am. <clears throat> and points at the sign. Okay, <laughs> I choose to heed the sign and watch my step. Then. I'm. I'm already going shell form. Yeah, watch my step while I step off. All right. What? You're watching oh. step off. What? So no, I'm not. I'm not. So Tortimus is gonna try to do this like uh, Mario Kart blue shell maneuver. I think that's gonna take a little bit of athletics. Go ahead and give me athletics check, please. <laughs> I guess I just go off. You yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> Don't ever right, fuck with me ever. All right, but Connell, you're able to put your hands out and you're able to like hold the shell as it's coming directly at you. That's right. And you're able to- I did not get much speed there, huh? Yeah, you're able to stop him right before he's about to push you back off. Oh, and what are you guys gonna do? You're witnessing this, uh, the party's falling apart. They're at each other's throats. Kek, what are you gonna do? Um. There's no, there's no like, chill everybody out with a really cool song ability. Try. You could always try to make a performance check, but since it's PvP, we'll let the other players decide. But you can always go ahead and try to chill them all out. They seem to be pretty up in each other's grills. 
Mm-hmm. P- it's PVM. It's people versus McConnell, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help that my rolls are on fire. I don't know. Yeah, you're rolling pretty hot today. I don't know what the hell's going on. That's right. The other session, they're going to be garbage. Yeah, if they're yeah. only this good at the mace, maybe your character wouldn't have died. Uh, I'm actually God, worried that yeah, you guys... Nice one, dude. Yeah, wasting your true. Today. And then when it matters, it's everybody's going to flop. Except for me. All my rolls have been bad. Hmm. All right. Are you going to try to do anything, Rona? No. No. I'm just going right. to keep watching. You're going to watch as he I'm, tries to grab you and is now stopping towards... I'm sorry, did someone else say something? Uh, I was just going to get out of my show and be like, I I didn't even want to do it anyways. It was just whatever. I, just uh, stop grabbing people. My God, it's not... Uh, we at least get their consent. Throws her off. Before you do, could you give me an athletics check, please? A 25... I'm just going to move you slightly to the side. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, just to, yep. If he's, if he's, he's throwing Keck. He, right. Was, I think he was trying to, at first, but you stopped him from actually grabbing Keck. Uh, Keck, sorry. But someone else seems to be joining the fray. Grub Grub lashes out with you with a couple of his tendrils and is trying to wrap them around you, but you're able to break free. I do not know what type of game this is, but if it is a contest of strength, perhaps we could all get involved. Already passed, though, right? No, you did pass. He's not able to push you in, but is there anything you'd like to do in response? I'll flip him off. All right. You flip him off. <laughs> I'm uh, not but... a very nice paladin. <laughs> no, you are not. <laughs> I'm not a very nice paladin, dude. And Grub Grub is going to take a step back, seeing that things are calm. Grub Grub, Grub Grub. Yeah. This is, this is part of the game. So what you need to do is you need to grab me. And, and I'm going to recoil into my shell. And I want you to chuck me straight at McConnell. And if you hit him, you get points. And if he falls into the pit, you get you win the game. You win the game, Grub. Come on. Let's That's do it. Not, that sounds very dangerous. Are you, are you sure? I mean, yes. you guys... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get close up to, to Grub Grub, and I'm gonna whisper in his ear. Listen, I, I think it's very important that he goes in the pit because these visions seem to be very uh, attuned to their pasts. Uh, they were what? all together as a party in this, this, this meadow of sorts. Uh, I feel like I'm piecing together a puzzle, and if they all go in, I, I might, we might be able to figure something out. Maybe, maybe a way to stop it. We could stop this madness. Perhaps it's not. It's not guaranteed, of course. That's Sparta. <laughs> but, uh, it's worth a shot, right? Go ahead and give me a persuasion check with advantage, please. A twenty-three, I think, would be mm, <laughs> up to a twenty-five. Grub Grub first seems a little bit hesitant, but remembers the the wisdom you showed earlier. He says, Okay. All my circle members, come to me. The sacred warriors are playing a game where they push each other into the depths to listen to the whispers. Come. All of us. Let us enjoy a great game. We will push this warrior of the light in. It will be a game uh, of great strength. Sorry, what was that? Uh, I'm going to turn to Grub Grub and I say, Now, if you really want to win the game, you get all of them in the pit. Hmm. Hmm. Unless you don't think you're strong enough to handle it. Oh, well. oh, we are but mushroom people. We may be soft, but we are stout. Come, everyone, let us guide them all 
into the pit. Seems like you guys are starting to be surrounded by a bunch of the mushroom people. As it says, Don't worry. You will not die. Perhaps your friend Tortimus is right. You must listen to what the pit has to say. Because we cannot. And I think that's what we're going to call the session for today. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. Oh man. Oh shit. Guess go All right. the pit, huh? Yeah, <laughs> dude. I, listen, I'm going to have to get this Giga Mushroom to help me out because none of those rolls are helping me. <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, give me a well, quick I think this will be 